not yours yet. Um, I wanted to show you this one because it's completely finished inside and the outside will be very similar. So you can see the outside has stucco, whereas a home like this has siding. Um, so your home will have stucco, but yours will be different because it'll have stone around the garage, sort of like there's stone under this window. Oh, that's pretty cool. And the color of the door. Okay. So right when you walk in in this home, you have a couple of options. You can leave this open, or you can close it off with French doors to make it a study. I don't know why they chose these doors. Usually our French doors have glass, so it looks really pretty. Um, but. All in all, this would be, you know, that extra bed, that extra room, or the office, or the open living room. It comes standard as a living room, but you could choose to make it a study for fifteen seventy-five. And this one, Joey has carpet. Right. So yours will have carpet unless you choose to upgrade to wood. Okay. Um, if I remember correctly, since we jumped up floor plans, we're probably trying to keep it pretty basic, not upgrade everything. Um, so yeah, you'll have carpet here. You'll have wood laminate in the entryway, like from here over. Okay. And then you would get carpet in the hallway. But what some people do is just pay for this hallway of wood. And it's worth it, right? It's totally worth it. Yeah, for about $1,000 you get the hallway and you cut it here. Mm -hmm. um, and that way you can walk from the front door to the kitchen without taking your shoes off. This home would come standard with Formica laminate countertops and they upgraded to granite, which would be a choice for you. How much is so to upgrade? 3,000 or 3,200. Okay. But you know what, the Kia, this is worth it um, because your house will appraise well better. Yeah, Yeah. so we will, um, we'll take a look at like what your max budget is. Um, and see what's worth it, what's not, and then we'll add in like all the things you may want. Maybe you care about granite, maybe you don't. Um, granite is one of the better choices, mm -hmm. is what Maggie is saying. Is like if you wanted wood floors on the whole first level, that may you may not get that back if you sold. Um, yeah, correct. Versus granite, you usually get the money back. So the fireplace is um, not standard. So you you can choose to add it or not add it. But overall, pretty big first floor. It is really, really spacious. What about the gas? That is an upgrade, right? Yes, nine hundred dollars for the gas stove, or four fifty for just the gas line behind. And the stainless steel appliances. Stainless steel comes standard. Okay, nice. Everything but the fridge. Okay. Which you can add for fifteen twenty-five. That is not that bad. Um, we, I think I was telling you earlier, we have a really good AC price. So when we priced out your Madison, I added the air conditioning in. But our fridge price is fifteen hundred, and if you just want everything to be easy, you can add it with us. But if you want a best price fridge, you probably buy it from Lowe's or Home Depot. Okay. Garage entry right here. And it's two-car garage, right? And is the motor is included in the controls? Okay. So this one is nice because this builder finished the garage. Usually by code they just need to finish this side, the attached to the living room, but it, this one is completely finished. Just need some texture. I think I know this floor plan. Yeah. It's yeah, it's fun. really nice and the master is huge. Yes. Yeah, I know this one. Okay. So, the way they have this set up is four bedroom upstairs, but you yes. would have an option to open all of this up into a loft. You wouldn't have this doorway here, you would have like a really wide open entryway. And it's more like a loft? Yeah, huge loft. Oh, but this is a huge, huge bedroom. Yeah. Wow. So three bedrooms plus an office plus a loft would give you a lot of space. Is this extra for making the bedroom? $2,000 to make it a bedroom, yeah. Wow, it's huge. But this is a good option with a walk-in closet. 
This is a really nice space bedroom. You can perfectly fit a queen size bed in here. So yeah, here's where the kids bedroom and bathroom would be. Okay. And this one is just like that, this tile. Yes. And linoleum and formica, right? Right, yeah, vinyl floors, formica countertops, tiles surrounding the shower. All of these bedrooms have walk-in closets. Oh, wow. The bedrooms are really big. Yeah, yeah, they're really good size, 12 by 12 or 12 by 11. So they can perfectly fit a queen size on both of them. Oh, yeah. Or in the third. Oh, yes. They're super, super nice size. And with walk-in closets. So they're really, really nice. I like this floor plan a lot. Yeah. Laundry. And the master. So the master is huge. So it's in the left side of the stairs. And then you have your master in here. So this is completely a standard, right? Yes. Solinolium. For $11.50, you can get a second sink. Okay. Um, yeah, floors just like this. And they paid for a walk-in shower for $1,500. Um, Otherwise, it's just a tub? Otherwise, it's a tub shower. A lot, of, a lot of people do the $400 option, which gets you a wide garden tub shower. Oh, okay. So they have different options different in here, options, but yeah. they have the space. And the closet is huge. Nice. And then you have a linen closet right here. Just in front of the toilet. Okay. Cool. Super nice. Beer We're gonna take another video when we get out to the lot location. Nice. Okay, talk to you soon.